What is up you guys? All right, uh, we have a lot to go through tonight. There's some stuff on the floor right next to me. I'm gonna take you through kind of a nighttime evening. Listen, I already made my margarita and I, <gasps> we can do the fastest margarita recipe ever. So this is my go-to cuppy at Halloween time. I rim it with a salt rim with a bit of tahini. Also the orange just gives it a whole vibe. Fastest margarita recipe ever, you ready? My Canadian friends, I'm sorry. I don't know how you'd find this in Canada. If you can, good luck to you, but this is amazing. I literally put this on ice, that's it. Fastest margarita ever. Drago Azul Supreme Margarita Spicy. It's amazing. So that's step number one. Step number two, this just arrived. My new doormat, I'm gonna bring that outside. And if you have not seen the TikTok or reel that I posted yet, I don't know if you can see that arch out there, I'll bring you outside and show you. And there will be a full video on that. So I'm gonna add this to the festivities. I also have another DIY project that I'm adding. I think I'm gonna do a DIY wreath. We'll see. But what we're doing today, much to my husband's dismay, is we're decorating the golf cart. So you're gonna be a part of it. So here's the plan. If you own a golf cart, this might be something that you're like, yeah, I know people do that. I didn't know that people did this. I, you know, I'm new to this whole, like I've never owned a golf cart before, as you know, not many people do. But apparently, seasonally, you decorate them. So if you've ever been to Disney World at Fort Wilderness Campground, everybody decorates their golf cart for Halloween. I think more Halloween than Christmas, maybe just as much. But people are already starting to decorate their golf carts here and I wanna decorate mine. And now Andre's probably gonna kill me. He's gonna think it's gonna look tacky, but the tackier the better, it's gonna be great. So my theme is death. I told him that and he said, what? It's gonna be death themed. So I did a little, Wal uh, not Walmart, oh, Walmart Halloween, by the way, this year. Oh, so good. I did a Michael's Halloween haul and they have Michael's Instacart. Oh, there's black glitter everywhere and it's beautiful. Michael's Instacart is the greatest thing of my life. So I got these. These are like garlands of like black glitter. They look like very Morticia. That's kind of what I'm going for is like Morticia's death garden is kind of the theme. This is like black. What would you call this, like moss? Like it's glittery though, so it's pretty. So I got four of each thing because I'm thinking like front, sides, and back. I have no idea. And then I also, when I was building the arch, discovered the power of zap straps, zip ties, zap I call them, is that a Canadian? I hope that's not a Canadianism because you guys always make fun of me. Um, zip ties, zap straps, zap, I call them zap straps. So I'm gonna use some black zap straps <laughs> zap straps, and put these around the golf cart and then I have, so I'm gonna do the leaves with this black glitter moss. And then I have this like, what do you call this? Fishnet stuff with bones. So I have four of these also. And everything was buy one, get one. And I believe they still have all of this in stock. So if you wanna be a part of this, you very much can. And you could do this for like a mantle. You could do this for like a kid's wagon. Okay, I want you to know that I'm not being weird that you need to have, like, have a golf cart. You could decorate your car if you want to, okay? It do, you could decorate your bicycle. Oh, I have a bicycle here. I should decorate my bicycle. If I have extra, I'm decorating my bicycle. So I got these two packets of LED lights. Oh, they plug in, perfect. Okay, so we do have a USB port on the golf cart. So there is power, but there's only one. So I might need to do like an extent. I don't know if that's even possible. Let's see if we can do it with one. But here's my idea. I wanna do like purple lights, but there's every color on this so I can keep these for Christmas when we do this all over again. So here's my plan. And then there's one last piece of the puzzle of the golf cart decor. And then I'm gonna take you guys outside. I'm gonna have my margarita and you're gonna be a part of this. And then we'll probably take you on a ride with us as long as the weather holds up. The weather's really wonky this time of year. Like you're guaranteed a thunderstorm every single day at like three to 5 p.m. So we're coming up on cocktail hour right now, so it might storm, but if it doesn't, you're coming with us for a ride. It's gonna be great. Okay, I gotta show you one last thing. Hello, he needs a name. He's gonna sit, he's gonna sit in the back seat. And I wanna give him like a popcorn bucket or like Mickey ears or something, maybe a balloon. Could be great. I'm wearing shorts underneath this, don't worry. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's go outside and do this. Babe, can you pull the golf cart out for me? 
All right, let's jump into this. So the very first thing I did before I started on the golf cart was set up my doormat. Very cute. I also grabbed a little beverage and headed outside to start our evening routine, which was to set up the entire golf cart in all of the spooky vibes. So I had a couple of those garlands. Like I said, I had four of each, so it was plenty. I decided not to wrap it around the front of the golf cart just for visibility standpoints, but I did the garland that had the leaves and then I did the garland that had like the black, I don't even know what to call it, spikes, moss, it very much was successful in looking like Morticia's garden. So I did those two layers first and I just used black zap straps and it was really easy. I think zap straps slash zip ties are like my new favorite thing ever. They're very amazing to have on hand. And then I had this other garland that basically had little hands and bones hanging from it. All the garland are from Michael's and they were buy one, get one. So reasonable ish. And I thought this was so cute. So everything was like black on black with that twine esque pokey type of vines. I don't really know what to call it. It would be like dead moss, right? So pretty awesome. And then I had, I decided to call him Walt. Walt was in the back seat the entire time. I just had to then finish up my bicycle. So I had a little bit extra garland. So I figured I'd wrap that around the bicycle since I did say, you know, you could do this with a bicycle. It doesn't have to be a golf cart. You could do it with your car if you want to decorate whatever you want. I thought it was cute to put Walt in the basket. I'd look like a real peach driving around the neighborhood like that, but I loved it. So then I wanted to install the fairy lights. So I had these fairy lights that have a USB on them. And I remember that there was a double USB port in the golf cart. So it's perfect because whenever you turn it on, the lights turn on automatically. So the cool thing about these fairy lights is one, they're very long, but they also turn purple or orange. And then for the holidays, I can switch it to like red or green or sparkly white or whatever. So I wrapped these all throughout the garland and I decided to do purple. I don't know. I thought it would be spooky and cool and go with the black garland. And what's really cool is, and I'll show you this in a second, we do our margarita clock in the golf cart sometimes and we go for a little evening stroll around the neighborhood. And I love that Ray Dunn mug, the, uh, the tricks and tequila. I baked some cookies for our neighbors, so we dropped those off on the way. And I attached my little acrylic chain, the pink acrylic chain to my Mickey purse and brought my magic band just in case because after this we were headed, you, you know, wherever the wind takes us as we do. So this is what I wanna show you. The golf cart actually has underglow. That is Andre's doing, obviously not mine. He chose his golf cart, but we can choose the color of the underglow. So I just almost set it to purple. And then Walt came with us. I actually buckled him in with the seatbelt. I need to find him like Mickey ears or a balloon or something. I think that'd be hilarious, but he's a lot smaller than I thought he would be, but he's very cute. So the golf cart was an absolute success. And then from here, we went on our merry way throughout the neighborhood. I just waited for Andre to come outside, turned on all of the lights. I might've given something away. All the lights on the front porch, super cute. And then we turned on hollow wishes. We always listen to Disney area music whenever we're driving around. We actually have a really cool portable speaker that we use on the golf carts like magnet. And you can kind of see the little side of it there, it's orange. So Andre took us all around, we looked at the animals, took some cute pictures on the bridge. I had my trick or tequila cuppy, which I love. And we just, we just kind of strolled around, listened to the vibes. And from there we decided to go out into the Disney, the Disney areas. So first we stopped over at Destino Tower. So the Grand Destino is one of our favorite spots. It's in Coronado Springs and there is the best bar called Dahlia's. It's probably one of my favorite spots at all of Disney. They make a really good martini, really good charcuterie. Then we hopped over to Disney Springs and we hung out there for a bit. We ate a little bit, we snacked a little bit. <laughs> we had a good time. Um, we definitely shopped and just word to you, if you're in Disney, don't have cocktails and then shop because you'll just be convinced that you need everything like Legos. Andre and I love Legos and it's become a problem. I also stopped by the coach store. They launched a villains collection, which was pretty cool. I wanted to check it out. And then we went to our favorite new spot. I love Terralina, so good, I'm obsessed. And the bar there is amazing and probably one of my favorite bartenders ever in Disney works there. So after the drinks and the food, we decided to stop by the Lego store and we thought it would be a great idea to buy the Home Alone Lego since when we come back, it will be Thanksgiving slash Christmas time. So it would be fun for me to do that. And also one of my favorite movies of all time is Home Alone. 
Lego is um, a very expensive hobby to get into, but we love it and it was a ridiculous purchase, but you're here for it. Then we looked at all the Halloween merch that they had. Um, I held back as best as I could because I think I bought everything else that there was. And we just shopped around and enjoyed the evening. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely give it a thumbs up. If you did, make sure that you're subscribed, hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes. Yeah.